Hey everybody, Punisher88 here, coming at you once again with another Thursday review on a Friday. That's right, folks. So to those of you who are curious just to why I'm doing my Thursday review today, I then urge you to go check out the haul video I did yesterday because at the beginning of the video, I explain everything. So today I'm reviewing Squadron Supreme number one. So to those of you who watch my reviews, you guys know that I like to start with the cover first. So let's check it out. Now, right off the bat, yes, I love this cover. Why? Well, there's a couple reasons, but let's get the obvious one out of the way first. And that's because this is a Alex Ross cover. And I do believe Alex Ross is going to be doing all the covers for this series, which is awesome. Another thing I love about this cover is that it is done on an all-white background. And I've mentioned a couple times not every artist can pull that off. Alex Ross, on the other hand, can pull it off nicely. And as we see here, he pulled it off nicely. Uh, I also love the way the team is drawn here, specifically Hyperion. Uh, I love that Alex Ross drew Hyperion in that classic superhero pose. And I don't know if it's just me, but when I look at Hyperion here and the way he's standing... Uh, in my head, this this pose just screams, yes, I am the Marvel version of Superman. I mean, look at him. You put him in blue and red. You put the giant S on his chest. You dye his hair black. Boom, you got Superman. <laughs> and also, I love that one of my favorite Marvel girls is on this cover. No, I'm not talking about Power Princess down here. I'm talking about Thundra. Now, I know a lot of you out there really dig uh, Black Widow or um, Supergirl and whatnot, but me, you give me Thundra any day. <laughs> so anyway, from the cover alone, do I think this book's batting a thousand? Yeah, I do. But that's just the cover. Now it's time to get down to what I like to call the nitty gritty. But before we do, I just want to take the time to mention to any new viewers out there or any new subscribers to my channel that if at any time during this review or any of my past reviews, you guys notice that I look up and down at the camera quite a bit or it sounds like I'm reading to you guys, the reason for that is I keep my notes in front of me. Why? Well, there's a couple reasons. The first one being with the notes, I find it helps the review flow a lot smoother. Second, with the notes in front of me, let's say I'm reading part of the review and I get stuck. I can backtrack and then keep going. And third, well basically when it comes to memorizing text, it has never been one of my strong suits. So therefore, the notes are actually a help aid. So if you guys are cool with that, awesome. We'll get through this review and we'll be on our merry way. Sound cool? Alright, so what do you say we get started? So. Robinson, Kirk, and Martin are just going for it. Squadron Supreme, I find, really hits like a hammer. And this team, I think, is going to be all kinds of dark fun. Uh, this title, to me, I find has X-Force written all over it. Uh, as a team has come together to deal uh, with threats to the world, and... We're not talking small threats here. I mean, we're talking world killer threats. And uh, this is the sort of team that can deal with it. Uh, Robinson, Kirk, and Martin uh, do not hesitate to show exactly what this team is capable of, uh, neutralizing a longtime nuisance in the Marvel Universe and doing it in a hugely highfalutin way. Mm. It's not every day you hear someone use the word highfalutin, huh? <laughs> uh, not only was I surprised with what this team did, and I'm referring to the big event that happens in this book, which I'm not going to spoil for you guys, or at least those of you out there who still haven't read this book, I'm not going to spoil it. To those of you who have read this book, well, you already know what I'm talking about, but shh. Let's not say anything. <laughs> Let's give the people a chance to read this, you know. So, anyway. Um, yeah, not only was I surprised with what this team did, uh, I was surprised that editorial let it ride. 
uh, as the shockwaves coming from this story will impact uh, the Marvel Universe for a long time to come, um, if this first issue is any indication, this is going to be a big, dark book with some rich characters doing the dirty deeds necessary to ensure the world exists tomorrow. Uh, Robinson's voices for these characters are great, as he makes it very obvious that these are strong, powerful characters. Uh, we know little about them, as they have came, uh, come from worlds lost to insurgents, uh, but they are a force to be reckoned with nonetheless. I mean, come on. I wouldn't want to mess with Hyperion, the way he shoots lasers from his eyes and everything. No way. <laughs> uh, much of the um, what was it? see see why the notes help. Um, oh yeah, okay. Uh, much of the same spirit of Robinson's brilliant time on Earth Two um, can be found in these pages, and this really feels like it's in his wheelhouse. Uh, perhaps more than any of his Marvel work uh, that I've read thus far. Uh, I both want to know more about these characters and kind of fear them as well. <laughs> and that's just fun. Uh, this is a very well-paced first script, and I have a feeling this is going to be a book of big moments. Turn the page. <laughs> Uh, Leonard Kirk and Frank Martin uh, really deliver on those big moments uh, in this first issue, uh, throwing down huge splash pages and double page spreads to really show the gravity of what is occurring. Uh, they balance these huge images with rich story filled pages nicely and overall, uh, this is just some rock solid artwork. Um, this team looks like a group of Avengers, but Kirk ensures the dark side of this team is ever-present. And his Hyperion is a real show-stealer. <laughs> uh, there are some really dark, shocking moments in this comic, and uh, Kirk handles them very nicely. Uh, doing Robinson's script about this dark team of Powerhouse Justice... Uh, this is the kind of superhero artwork uh, that is just easy on the eyes while also being uh, very dynamic. And uh, I hope this team has a very good long run on this title. Uh, Squadron Supreme number one is a huge issue. And like I said, it will have a long lasting impact uh, on the Marvel Universe. Uh, the creative team has come out of the gate with all guns blazing here, and um, I'm excited to see where they take the story next. Uh, if this is going to be Marvel's equivalent to Earth 2, then I'm all in uh, for no other reason than to see what havoc this team causes. So all in all, all i got to say is, Bring me more Squadron Supreme stat. Uh, overall verdict of this book, if I had to give it a grade or whatnot, um, out of 10, I would give it 10 out of 10, hands down. I thought this was a really good story. Now, uh, because I thought it was a good story, some of you out there may think this story stinks. You don't got to take my word for it, but I do urge you guys to pick it up anyway if you haven't. And uh, just give it a go. If you like it, awesome. If not, well, you don't have to pick up issue two then. <laughs> so anyway, that brings us to the end of another uh, Thursday review on a Friday. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down. Uh, if you enjoy reviews like this one, take a look around my channel. I got plenty of them. Uh, I do a new comic review every Thursday and Saturday, if I'm able to. Uh, Thursday being a current comic, Saturday being one of either a back issue book, a hot topic book, or something that just really catches my eye, and I really can't wait to do the weekend review because 
Uh, I think it's a book you guys are going to like. Uh, it's, it goes along the lines of, um, well, let's say it, it, it teeters between hot topic and something that really caught my eye. So let's, let's just leave it at that. I'm not going to spoil it or anything. So, um, also if you're into unboxings, well, normally I do an unboxing every two months since I am a member of the Marvel Collector Corps. But uh, as I mentioned on Wednesday, the last two boxes that were supposed to come to me, uh, I got gypped out of them because um, my, my subscription was set to inactive. So I wasn't able to get two boxes now. But as I keep saying, I am a firm believer in the three-strike uh, method. So I am giving Marvel Collector Core one more chance, and I really hope they come through for me this time because February's box is all Deadpool, and I want that box so bad. And I, I, I kind of feel bad too because I haven't been able to do a real unboxing for you guys lately. So, you know, I want something to show you. So anyway... So if you're into that, uh, I do new unboxings every two months if everything goes according to plan. Um, if you're into backstories on lame comic book characters, well, every Wednesday, I choose a character at random and I give you guys the dirt on them. Basically, who created the character, when they made their first appearance, yada, yada, yada. And also, if you're into comic book hauls and whatnot, I got plenty of those too. And if you're into... Um, reaction type videos uh, I have my thoughts and stuff series where I choose a Netflix based superhero TV show so right now um, I'm doing season two of thoughts and stuff uh, focusing on Jessica Jones uh, but if you guys would like to get a better feel for it well then I urge you to go check out the uh, playlist I put together uh, for season one of Daredevil so yeah, so there's all that stuff for you to check out, <laughs> if any of it sounds interesting to you. And also, while looking around my channel, make sure to comment on any video you like, because I love reading viewer comments. And also, like or dislike any video you watch. Yes, I did say dislike, because let's face it, no one's perfect, right? And then when all is said and done, before leaving, make sure to click that subscribe button. Alrighty, so that's it for now. Uh, now I'm going to go work on recording uh, episode 4 of Thoughts and Stuff, because as I said uh, on Wednesday, I was having all kinds of problems trying to upload that video, so I said the hell with it, I deleted it, and decided that I'm just going to do it all over again. So that's what I'm going to go do now. So till then, this is Punisher88, signing off. See ya!